Well, guys, it looks like we've got yet more evidence of just the amount of infiltration we have of Jesuits in the highest powers and the highest areas of influence in our country. Because this article, which I missed last year, uh, that was published on the 6th of April 2013, but at that time I was not aware of the infiltration of the Jesuit and just how serious it was. But now this information is making itself apparent because it is important to know. And so they quite proudly proclaim where all the Jesuit are within all the parties and also what schools they were trained at. And also please take note of where they use the word Jesuit trained. And this is why that to see this just as a coincidence that we have Jesuit all through the power structure of our country just goes to show that their training has worked because they have been trained to be the wolves in sheep's clothing and make their way into these positions and when given their cue they will then fulfill their orders and so this is what this is all culminating into if anyone's really paying attention you know for the people that are just out there sucking up all the distraction and sharing that all around well you won't find this of much interest but you know I know that there are some of you out there that really are paying attention so this is who I do these videos for because I certainly am paying attention to the Jesuit influence in my country especially when they're proudly declaring the papal connection to Australia now again April the 6th 2013 goes on to proudly you know, proclaim his connection with the Pope. So I would like to ask this Jesuit abbot and all of these Australians that just suck off the teat of the establishment bullshit of this, the lucky country. She'll be right, mate. This is how they dumbed you down into stupid fucks so that they could do this. And so you just sit there on a Sunday Arvo, watching the footy, having a bong. Who's going to win the footy, mate? Well, it's not going to really fucking matter soon because you are going to find out why they are positioning themselves in this power. And if you think it is just to continue on in the squalor that they have created for us, that you have accepted as reality, then good luck. Good luck because you're going to need it. Okay? And so this is... Um, this is why I'm going to continue make, making these videos to basically bring the reality to people of what we're dealing with. What snuck in the back door when nobody was looking, when ev everyone was chasing the Galactic Federation of Light and Consciousness and the third eye and pineal gland and, and whatever it is that they provided for you. Well, while you were off doing that, this is what was happening, okay? All around the world, not just in our country, Washington, Rome, and London, okay? And we are a part of London, we are a part of Rome, and they are very closely connected. That's why we see Queen Lizard, and this thing, with such close connections and also when it comes to children and the trafficking of children because they use this in their ritualistic magic that all you people that are so awake and know everything obviously know about. But of course, no, I'm just speaking another language to most people, but that's fine. As I said, this video is not for the people that are not at the conscious level of awareness to understand what is happening in your reality and what is about to play out in your reality. So now that I've actually put together what these fuckers are going to do, I'm just going to keep speaking about it. And that's probably going to mean that I am going to shake out the demons. I suppose when you keep kicking the hornet's nest, you will eventually 
have an effect to the cause. And if that's what it's going to take to prove to all you fucks what we're dealing with, then that's what I'm going to do. Keep kicking and kicking and kicking, okay? Because I'm sick of just sitting here sucking up all the bullshit, all right? Not going to do it anymore. You want to suck it all up and play along with it still and make it all reality for you? That's what's so much easier for you to accept. Fine. But I'm not doing it. So... I'll just continue logging the handiwork of these fucking shit stains and you guys can just come along for the ride if you so wish. And if I suddenly disappear or my channel disappears, well, I guess you know. But I just want to let everybody know that I do have people in place with information should that occur. And that will just make my truth all the more what people will actually look at, won't they? Which is what we want. So people actually start waking up to the truth of who they are, which is what we want, which is what they don't want. So I'll just keep doing the videos and keeping it real, shall I? While everyone else just goes and plays fucking, I don't know, whatever it is that they play uh, that seems to keep them occupied while the shit unfolds around us. So I'll just be the one that uh, continues to shine a light on the shit, shall I? All right, well, I shall then. And so I wanted to make this video to show the influence again of the Jesuit in the power structure of our country, of my country, of where I exist. So it is my fucking business uh, because all of the uh, authority are under the rule of these fuckers, okay? So uh, I'm a prisoner now in my country and basically view myself as such when I even travel. Uh, because I know that at any time, you know, you can come into, you know, a face-to-face -face situations with dumb fucks that think they're in power for now because these dicks are, are telling them that and giving them that little bit of power. But really what they're doing is just uh, sowing their fate, basically, and it's not going to be a very nice one. So that's fine. But anyway, my job here is to let people know the truth. You know, I'm not going to keep fucking around with all the bullshit, okay? If you guys want to keep fucking around with all that crap, that's fine. Uh, some of us don't want to anymore. I'm one of them. Sick of it, over it. So um, I'm just going to keep, as I said, putting a spotlight on these people, um, particularly this website that updates every day. And uh, as I said, I also wanted to make this video because, uh, you know, I've lost another long time follower, it seems, because they are unable to let go of the emotional attachment they have to Ashtar Command and Galactic Federation of Light information. Uh, and since I don't personally know this person, I don't know now whether that can be for a reason uh, that is an agenda or a reason that they are just clinging to some false hope. Either way, they are now liability. Uh, I no longer wish to partake in uh, endless discussions in circles, um, trying to, uh, you know, show this person uh, the truth here when all they want to do is justify the lie. And so once more for people that may think that this is a fundamentalist Christian, hating on the Galactic Federation of Light and Ashtar Command and everybody else in the whole wide world because that's what this site does. They do not not hate on anybody. Everyone's a target. So for people that want to keep with that, this is for you. Okay, go to Cosmic Jesus and his disciples. I'll put the link under the video. Go down the bottom where it's uh, written in one of the six posts the six responses, and now if you've been doing your homework and following the information that I've been putting together, you'll know that the number six and what that means and what they like to use the number six on because they don't want us to see the number seven. And if we understand what we are in the number six, then we should understand what we are in the number seven. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and inform yourself. So there's six responses. And one of those responses happens to be the second one here. goes on to say that Jesus Christ is the false Messiah. Are we missing something here? goes to say that uh, Yahweh is not God. Are we missing something here? Again, person that runs actual site and so-called writes entire site that I cannot find any information on, 
the videos that she is supposed to be uh, interviewed in, there is nothing of her talking. It's just these complete uh, religious infected um, idiots just spewing absolute rubbish and then saying praise Jesus every like minute. It's, uh, it's like painful to even listen to. You can even know that they're indoctrinating you as you're listening to this. It's complete shit, okay? And this person does nothing? What? This person's whole life is about making this site because of her love for the truth. And the truth is that Jesus is symbolic for one of the messiahs. One of the 96 that are going to illuminate. Eight are messiahs, 88 are divine ones. How many times do I have to fucking say it? What, you people, what, you don't get that? Something, what, missing in how I'm explaining it? Why don't you go and look at Vitruvian Man? Really look at Vitruvian Man. Look at it over and over and over and over again, okay, until you fucking get it, all right? Because this is going to matter soon that you get that information. Because this is what they're all preparing for and this is what I'm getting fucking sick and tired of having to repeat myself over and over and over to people that claim to be awake, claim to want to be consciously aware and want to be in ownership of truth but then don't want to fucking actually really understand what we're dealing with, all right? So that's fine if people want to continue on in their uh, seeing this all as some type of entertainment and something that just stays rolling around up in their head, okay? Because that's safe up there where it can stay fine. But as I've said, fuck off, okay? Not interested. I'm here because I'm telling people, you better start listening to me, all right? They are using all of religion, every single one of religion. This website even shows you it, okay? Go to the homepage. Every day they put more information on. They've got some new um, information here. They're basically slagging off at God again. Okay. Uh, this one here. The Lord um, reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength. Wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is stabilized that it cannot be moved. They're trying to move this into a physical aspect for themselves, meaning that their physicality that they've created will not be moved by God, okay? So you only have to go down here and they even show you their whole idea, okay? You all say, oh, they put out the information to show us. Yeah, they do. Are you looking at it? Or are you off chasing all of your own little fucking other stories that they've created for you because they've been doing this since World War II and they've been doing it for each psyche, okay? They've planned for each different psychological group, okay? They've got a program for all of us, all right? We've all fallen into them, but what we've got to do is identify it, which is why I'm sorry that I've lost that follower, which I've had to block which and, and remove from my experience because I'm just not going to put up with this anymore. If people are not here, present in this moment, fully ready to accept the information that's being revealed for us because you want to fucking pretend that something else is your reality and pretend that something else is real, then fine, do it somewhere else, okay? But for those of us that are paying attention and those of us who that this may be important information for because the information is showing, as I said, if you go and look at Vitruvian Man and understand Vitruvian Man, that 96 divine beings are going to illuminate. Eight of them are Messiahs, 88 are going to be divine ones. And when they illuminate, they are actually illuminating so that they can be seen as different from other man. They can be seen as divine. This is going to actually manifest. And they know this and that's what they're preparing for. And so as we don't know who these divine ones are, they could be anybody. They could be people in your family. They could be absolutely anybody at all and if we have an agenda for all of these religions to come together and then make the enemy those amongst mankind that suddenly start illuminating then you better be prepared for the fucktards that believe this bullshit and deception 
okay, because they are going to be there. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to people out there? Or are you all still fucking deaf and don't want to hear me? Deaf, I should say. But death may be a result of death because you've got to hear this, okay? They are planning to bring all of the religions together. Look at this. Chris Islam, okay? Judaism, okay? Christianity and Islam. They're going to come together and they're going to turn on those that illuminate within mankind and call them aliens, demons, fallen angels, whoever the psychology they have targeted with that particular story. And you can see that this website targets all of it. That's why you know it's with the Vatican and they tell you with the Vatican, okay? It's all the same thing. And they're gonna come together when the divine amongst mankind start to illuminate and they're going to put fear within the collective about it and they're going to put fear within the collective of the atmospheric changes that are going to be experienced because I imagine that with an illumination within mankind that there must be some illumination within Mother Earth because those that follow the information know that it's all about the law of correspondence, okay? And you know, it's really interesting. I'm gonna do some more videos. Um, I found this video um, thanks to one of the members in my group who showed that when they actually rotate a droplet of um, water in basically zero gravity, they spin it and it becomes um, basically the middle becomes like a shaft of air, showing us a pillar, showing us that there's a shaft from north to south within Mother Earth of air. Now, what do we have within us? Because someone made a remark on the video, oh, that proves that Mother Earth is hollow. Really? So that you've got lungs makes you hollow. I think you should think about that. They found that the heavier objects were also moving to the outer side of this sphere as well. I'll put the video underneath, or I, as I said, I will do more videos because, you know, I'm just over sitting here not putting out this information because I'm waiting for everyone to fucking catch up. So that's fine. You know, you guys all want to fuck around out there. That's fine. I know that there's heaps of you out there that don't. I can see you commenting. commenting. That tells me that you're getting it, which means I'm going to keep putting it out. And um, to the other ones, it's kind of like I'm getting really impatient now just because it's like, really, come on, you know, it's time to start getting a fucking clue because it's going to matter soon that you did get a clue when you got a clue. And you really need to go and start doing your own research if mine's not good enough, okay? And finding out for yourself just what we're fucking dealing with. All right, well, I'll leave it here once again and I'll put everything underneath. And as always, peace out.